All right, people, welcome back to Fake Card Friday. So today we are looking at an interesting and more personal fake card. This isn't just a fake card made by anyone. This fake card is actually made by my friend Lunar. You guys know Lunar. If you don't know Lunar, you see his beautiful work everywhere on my channel. The banner, the thumbnail, uh, the end card, uh, the background for... Uh, for daily duels the previous banner the previous mat like every single non-shitty thumbnail and non-shitty art on my channel is all done by lunar and you know i really appreciate him he's an awesome guy and the least thing i can do is just review his fake cards so he gave me three fake cards and we are going to be reviewing them in a row so this week next week and the week after that every friday for next two weeks we're going to be looking at lunar's cards just to show him thanks so everybody say thank you to lunar because clearly the channel is looking beautiful and it's all thanks to him all thanks to him you know i worked him like a like a like a work hard so i'm like no fix that do this do this for me work that and and edit that but like literally talking on skype him screen sharing his screen and i'm literally watching him as he makes the beautiful banner and the beautiful thumbnail and the beautiful end card for me and i just can't be more thankful because there's no way in hell i'd be able to do it myself and if i didn't have lunar to help me with my channel it would just look like uh well what it looked like before lunar started helping me so uh, thank god that i had lunar to go ahead and help me so we're just gonna go ahead and get on with it looking at this fake card so this is jinzo ominent Ominent? I, I I can't read. I'm not good with words. I think it's ominence. Um, ominence? I don't know. I don't know. But it's a Jinzo card. And, you know, I'm a big fan of Jinzo because I hate back rows. So if you can, you know, make a Jinzo, that's awesome. So it is a dark machine. Fusion effect monster level 12. So, whew. Zero attack, but 4,500D. So, you know, at least you don't have to win this, not this card. Like, come to ask you with attacks. But, you know. That's a big booty. That is a big booty. <laughs> anyway, it's fusion materials are three Jinzo monsters. So of course, you know, there's Jinzo, but there's other Jinzo esque cards. So it can just be it doesn't have to be three Jinzo's Jinzo monsters. So at least that's a little bit easier. He was like discussing it and he was like, Well maybe it should be three Jinzo. Like, no 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 no. Three Jinzo monsters is fine. You know? It might promote Jinzo as an archetype. Because it sort of kind of is. I mean, he has a couple, just has a couple of cards that work with him. So, you know, if you can get all of them together to work in one deck just to summon this guy, if he's worth it, then hey, that's not a terrible thing. So, must be special summon from your extra deck by banishing the above cards from your hand or your side of the field. Alright, that's where it gets a little bit broken, Lunar. The hand part, the hand part. You know, if it was on the field, maybe we could talk. You know, you have a Jinzo, you know, maybe like a, you know, Jinzo Jacker, maybe like a Jinzo Returner or whatever. I feel, that's fine. But from your hand, that's busted. That is, that. I mean, I haven't read the rest of the effect, but, you know, just being able to just summon this from your, from your extra deck and start banishing three Jinzos from your hand, that's very powerful. Cannot be special summoned by other ways. This card special summon cannot be in the game. You can't even summon more than this sucker. Wow. Just straight up, like, nope. When this card is special summon. Your opponent reveals their hand, deck, and all set cards in the spell and trap card zone. Then banish all traps revealed this way. Holy crap. Cards cannot be activated in response to the activation of this effect. Holy crap. So you can't stop this special summon, and you can't activate anything in response to this effect. You can't even, like, you know, you know, effect fail him or break this or nothing. Nothing. Your trap, if, 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 you, if this is summoned, your traps are gone. Like, gone. <laughs> like... Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I I hate traps just as much as the next guy. Probably even more than the next guy. I really do not like traps in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. I think they're what makes the game kind of shitty. Is all the trap cards, you know, just being your opponent be able to one up you and you just straight up lose the duel because you couldn't even play. But uh, this is just craziness, craziness. Now, if you summon this from your extra deck by you know the three Jinzos on the field, then maybe it might be you know. I mean, it's a very powerful effect, but it's not. The, the summoning condition is a little bit more difficult. You know, you got to have three different Jinzo monsters on the field, you know. But from your hand, you literally just go. First turn, like, oh, I got three Jinzos. Banish, 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 summon this. Let me see your hand. Let me see your deck. So, already, I already see your hand. So, I got knowledge of what you play. Knowledge is power. I already see your hand. And I get to see your deck. Banish all the traps in your deck. I don't have to worry about shit for the rest of the duel. Like, you know... <laughs> Because I not only are all your traps gone, so I don't have to worry about them, but then I knowledge is power. I know your hand. So 
very, very, very powerful effect. You know, if you can bust this out on your opponent first turn, you know, one of the most annoying cards, and I hate it, and I never want this card to come back, is Trap Death Shoot. Trap Death Shoot was a pain in the dick, and before I realized about Number Generator, I was like, my opponent would always get this on me on DN all the fucking time, just first turn. Look at that Trap Death Shoot, and look at my hand, and, pick, and send something from my hand back to the deck. But they get to look at my hand. This is essentially almost to that part. If you get three Jinzos, you can just banish them three Jinzos, drop this guy in defense from a 4,500 booty, look at your opponent's hand, take all them traps out, look at your opponent's deck, take all them traps out. You can literally read your entire opponent, all your opponent's plays. Like, Luna, I get it. You hate traps, but this is taking it a little bit too far. This card is very powerful. Very powerful, especially can, since you can't even stop it. You can't even, you can't, you can't solemn warning it. You can't veil it. You can't do shit. Your your traps are gone this, uh, when this thing hits the field. And I get to see your hand and your deck. So, knowledge is power. Wow. So, tell me what you guys think about uh, Lunar's first card. I, I think it's really busted. <laughs> you know, he definitely told me that this one was the most, you know, controversial out of all the three of the cards. But, you know, he just hates traps, and he wanted to go ahead and do a card like this, so there you go. So, uh, tell me what you guys think about uh, Lunar's card in the comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday, and be sure to go ahead and thank Lunar in the comment section below for all the beautiful art and this end card that you're about to see. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.